what happened during the breakdowns that happened thereafter? Yeah, they uh, they started off on a 14 to two run, start that fourth quarter. Uh, so when you allow a run like that, that means obviously you're not defending, you're not scoring, you're not executing. Um, they went really, really small and um, we had a hard time getting stops and we had a hard time you know, getting shots. Um, so they outscored us 62 to 43 in that second half. Uh, we had two fast break points in the second half. We stopped running because we stopped getting stops. Uh, and Tim Hardaway and Jalen Brunson really hurt us in that second half. So um, no excuses. Fourth game, six nights, second night of a back-to-back. -back. Uh, Zeke Najee, go, you know, he's another guy that's not able to play tonight. So uh, it's been a tough stretch for us. But you know, I thought our guys competed and played hard. So we're uh, looking forward to going home, getting some rest, trying to get healthy uh, to get ready for this upcoming back-to-back -back at home. The first time you saw them in Denver, there was no coordinating on the floor. How did his presence change this game? Well, I mean, he stretches the floor, obviously. I think he had 29 points, hit five threes. Uh, and then he and Luca, you know, um, you know, they went small a lot. Um, their bench unit, but even with uh, Luca and Porzingis, and they had three smalls out there with them. Um, so his ability to stretch the floor, he can catch and put it on the ground. Uh, and he's also a, a rim protector on the defensive end. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's an all-star caliber player. So, uh, and he showed that tonight. There were a couple of stretches where they had uh, some easy buckets in transition, 23 fast break points for them tonight. Was there just a, a lack of focus in transition tonight, or what led to some of those open buckets? Yeah, I think definitely a lack of focus. Um, you, know, you can't allow the disappointment of missing a shot uh, to take away from your urgency to get back. And I think that happened last night at times. I think it happened tonight at times where guys are missing shots and they're dropping their head and they're jogging back instead of, you know, you got to have a next play mentality, get your ass back and make them have to execute. To your point, um, I think second half, they have scored as 14 to two in fast break points, um, you know, which is um, not going to help you win a tough road game against a quality opponent. On a little bit of a higher note, Monty Morris seems to have found his rhythm in the last couple of games. What's changed with him? Yeah, I think, um, you know, he's been dealing with some health issues as well, like everybody is, but uh, just trying to give him rest on days off, uh, treatment around the clock. Um, and he's going out there and playing at a high level. I mean, tonight, 17, 8, only two turnovers, uh, shot the ball well, 8 of 13 from the field. Um, so it's good to see Monte kind of rounding into form, being healthy. And when he is healthy, he has the ability to go out there and, you know, lead our team like he did tonight. You know, Nicola was a terrific 35 and 16. Uh, it was just the end of that third, beginning of the fourth um, that just gave us a little bit of trouble tonight. And uh, so we'll learn from it. Any update with Ron? Uh, no, he, he rolled that ankle. I think he's going to be fine. You know, luckily he's young, really resilient, tough kid. Um, you know, hopefully a couple of days, like I said, Katie, once we get home, uh, try to get Will back, try to get Zeke back and try to get all these other guys that have been playing a lot of minutes and so much is being asked of them, you know, try to get them to, to rest and uh, we can come back against Philly on whatever night we play them. We'll go to Mike Singer for one on the Zoom real quick. Hey, Michael, obviously you've mentioned the injuries. Um, were you pleased with, with how Bull was ready um, and gave you guys positive minutes specifically in that first half? I mean, he should be ready. I mean, yeah, am I pleased? Of course. I mean, but, you know, you're a professional athlete. All of our guys should be ready. Um, so I'm not surprised that he was ready. That's his job. Um, I'm more proud of the fact that he went out there and did a pretty good job for us, not that he was ready. Thank you.